Welcome to Code Station, the place to make learning code easy and exciting. In this video series, we will learn how to code using C++. Then, we'll eventually code all the sorting algorithms that we've learned earlier using C++. So let's get started with the very basics. In this video, we will download C++ compiler and an IDE called CodeBlocks. In general, if you were to download a C++ compiler, you could just use a text editor like Notepad to write your code. However, an IDE provides facilities like source code formatting, build automation, and debugging. An IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. There are several IDEs available for C++ developers. Some of the best ones are CodeBlocks, Eclipse, Visual Studio, CodeLite, NetBeans, etc. We are going to use CodeBlocks exclusively in this video series. CodeBlocks is a free C, C++ ID created to meet the most demanding needs of C and C++ developers. It works with all the popular operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac. In this series, we'll exclusively code in Windows. CodeBlocks is fully configurable and extensible with its plugins. It even has a class browser which can visualize object-oriented programming. Please find a link in the description that shows all the features of CodeBlocks. Okay, so let's get right into it. To download CodeBlocks, go to the CodeBlocks website. I have listed all the links in the description below. Click on the download link on the left. You could then download the binary release. There are various flavors of code blocks that you can download, which are compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac. Here, we will download the IDE for Windows 10. There are various files available. Make sure you download the mingw setup.exe, which includes the GCC and G++ compiler and GDB debugger. These will help us compile the C++ code within the IDE. You could use any of the download source to download. Here, we'll use the sourceforge.net. Once it is downloaded, run the setup file to install the software. Agree to the terms of the license. Select the full installation as it might be beneficial. Note your destination folder. This is the folder where CodeBlocks is being downloaded. Then click on Install. Once installed, open code blocks. In the settings menu, click on the compiler to see the compiler settings. In the compiler flag, make sure C14 is selected. With this, the code blocks is installed. Now, let's test if we can write C++ code using code blocks. Click on create a new project. Find the console application and click on it. Select the language as C++. Select the folder you want and type in the title of the project. Here, we'll call it first program. Make sure that the compiler is GNU or GCC and click Finish. In the sources, you will see the main.cpp file. Click on that file to see the code in it. It is already populated with the Hello World program. You can click on the little green play button to run the executable of this program. Since we are running this for the first time, it will ask us if we want to build it. Click on Yes. It will build and run the program. 
All this program does is prints out Hello World in the console. CodeBlocks also gives us what the main function returns and the execution time. Press any key to exit the output of the program. Okay, so let's try something different. Let's modify the display text from Hello World to Hi, how are you? Let's recompile and run it again using the build and run button. Viola, we see the Hi, how are you as the program output now. So, we have now installed the C++ IDE and have run a Hello World program in it. However, we have not really understood how to write a program from scratch. In the next video, we will write our first program and understand all its syntax. I hope you liked this video. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel for the remaining videos in this series. Thank you for watching.